Hi everybody. How are you this fine day? Post-election day? I don't know that I really need you to answer that. <laughs> answer that. <laughs> because my answer to everything today is too soon to tell. Too soon to tell. There's not anything happening today that people haven't told us to expect. That we would not have a final tally for any of the elections for several days or weeks. But did you believe them? Or are you, as my grandmother used to say, on the quivy vivi? <laughs> it was when she was all, all on needles and pins about something. She was on the quivy vivi. Regardless, we are where we are. And we are undeterred in our faith and we are unstoppable in our search for greater spirituality and a deeper connection with God. Someone sent me a poem yesterday, Susan. So thank you, Susan, if you're watching. Thank you for sending it. It is a poem by Blake Brown. It's a prayer. And so I'm going to share that today. When we aren't sure, God, help us be calm. When information comes from all sides, correct and not, help us to discern. When fear makes it hard to breathe and anxiety seems to be the order of the day, slow us down, God. Help us to reach out with our hearts when we can't touch with our hands. Help us to be socially connected when we have to be socially distant. Help us to love as perfectly as we can, knowing that perfect love casts out all fear. For the doctors, we pray. For the nurses, we pray. For the technicians and the janitors and the aides and the caregivers, we pray. For the researchers and theorists, the epidemiologists and investigators, for those who are sick and those who are grieving, we pray for all who are affected all around the world. We pray for safety, for health, for wholeness. May we feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked and house those without homes. May we walk with those who feel they are alone, and may we do all that we can to heal the sick, in spite of the epidemic, in spite of the fear. Help us, O oh God, that we might help each other. In the love of the Creator, in the name of the Healer, in the life of the Holy Spirit that is in all and with all, we pray. Amen. There is a movement that many of you have read about and perhaps participated in, studied, practice. Maybe you practice it today. And it's called mindfulness. And it is a way for us to become so focused on what is happening right now in the moment. We bring our mind to full attention to what is going on in our environment, inside us where our thoughts are going. These are times for mindfulness. 
These are times for us to be mindful, not mindless, but to be mindful. And so the question, it begs the question, what are you going to fill your mind with? Well, I could fill it with news reports. Maybe not. Maybe not so much today. I could fill it with thoughts about what is this country coming to? Maybe not so much today. I could fill it with what's going to happen? That's not today. That's looking into the future. But if we could focus on just what is going on today, close your eyes. What do you feel in your toes? Do you feel yourself resting on the seat? What do you hear? You don't need me to walk you through meditation on mindfulness. We all know how to do that. We just kind of don't want to still our minds enough to do it, I think. So reading helps. So what are you reading? Praying helps. What are you praying? How is it that you engage in productive, active waiting? This is a time to practice those skills. The mantra for today, too soon to tell. Is this a good thing to happen? Too soon to tell. Is it a good thing that I got married? Too soon to tell. When you get a divorce, is it a good thing I'm getting a divorce? Too soon to tell. Because we don't know how it's going to play out. We're not God. We don't have, you know, 60,000 mile high view, 360 degrees. We don't know. Too soon to tell. Am I living a good life? Too soon to tell. All we can tell is what's happening in the moment right now. Right now. So if you are finding peace, keep doing what you're doing. If you're not at peace, do something different. Try to find the peace. Try to find the quiet center. Right? You have enough of these uh, prayerful pauses. You can go back and watch, what, eight months worth? Eight times 40, that's over 300 different prayerful pauses. You could spend, you know, that would keep you busy for a couple hours and then go back and watch them a second or third time. <laughs> Find something that focuses you in the moment, captures your attention, becomes a form of prayer. Okay? All right. We'll see you next time. This too shall pass. How do I know? Because it always has. God's in charge. God's in charge of you. Even if you can't imagine God being in charge of world events, or national events, God is in charge of you if you invite God to be. Right? Okay, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you back here next time. Until then, God bless. Take care. Be safe. Bye for now.